This episode is brought to you by We Are Dapper Ties. Do you have an interview coming up? Are you looking to take your boo on a fancy $200 date? Do you want to be a good son and let your mama see you in a nice tie? Well, look no further. We Are Dapper Ties is here for you. Brothers Andrew and Julian have curated beautifully designed ties at great prices. No need to go broke trying to look dope. And for my wonderful listeners, We Are Dapper Ties is offering free shipping on all orders in the U.S. Use promo code GAYSIDE during checkout. Again, go to WeAreDapperTies.com and enter promo code GAYSIDE for free shipping. We Are Dapper Ties, smart, affordable fashion. Today's podcast is also brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash gayside. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Again, it's audibletrial.com slash gayside. And now, let's start the show. It happened. Now we can't turn back the hands of time. Oh no. No. Okay, I'm done. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. And that was so rude. Fun. Oh, that was that was rude. I don't know why you would do that. I just, I was just listen. We lie. know that I can't sing. Yes, okay. we do know. It's it's fine. It's fine. All right, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Gay Side Stories with Trillificent, all LGBTQA all the time. This week, I have a return guest, a fan favorite. I have with me Hus, aka Adrian. Hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me back. Of course, of course. So let's get into some things because you have a story that I am ready to hear. Okay. But let's let's do our segments in order. So first right. up, the school in life. I don't really have a school in life this week except to say that you know, my continued prayers and efforts are with the greater Houston area and Beaumont and Port Arthur and all the other areas that have been flooding due to Hurricane slash Tropical Storm Harvey. Um, if you can donate items, donate money if you have it, just anything that you can do to help, even if it's just posting on your social media awareness of links of places that you can donate and volunteer we really need it. It's going to be a huge recovery effort. You know, I was fortunate and the majority of my friends and family were all fortunate not to be affected by this. But that does not mean that the city itself has not been affected in a huge way. So many of our freeways were underwater. You guys just don't know. I haven't even been able to go to work for the past week because my job site has been completely shut down due to all of the flooding. So continue prayers and and whatnot with that. Uh, what about you, Hus? You have a school on life this week? Um, not really. Um, I was just in L.A. for the past four days, just soaking up some sun and some food. Um, that was really it. I yeah, that was. I got I got so much needed sleep. Mm -hmm. That was uh, yeah, that was Very about it. And now my body is trying to adjust back to uh, East Coast time. Oh, good luck with that! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's move on to the come quick segment. So first off, you guys know I do my Twitter polls whenever they come to me, whenever the mood strikes. So I did another poll. Again, to gays, I like to target the gays because I have questions. So the poll was, would you ever have an MMF threesome? And that's a male, male, female threesome. So the answers were 
I don't mind a little fish or I strictly eat sausage. So 47% said I don't mind a little fish. And 53% said I strictly eat sausage. Now I'm going to call bullshit because I just don't see 47% of y'all on the Twitterverse being down with the woman getting fucked by your man, sucking your man's dick, having your man eat her pussy, all of that good stuff. I just don't see it. I mean, if, if I know that some of y'all are freaks and y'all don't mind and y'all probably have done it or do it on the regular, more power to you. But I feel like some of y'all are not being truthful with yourselves. I just don't see it. I, you know, it's just not realistic. It's just not realistic. But what do you think about that, Huss? Adrian. I I <laughs> I feel like um I feel like it's bullshit. I I just can't see it. I can't see almost half of these niggas out here. Nah, I don't listen I don't it. because a lot of y'all don't even like a verse gay man. I just don't see y'all having a, a threesome <laughs> with the one I just don't see it. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't I'm not it. trying to I'm not trying to drag anybody to the dirt or anything like that. I just want everyone to walk in their truth because life is beautiful when you walk in your truth. When you gallop in your truth or whatever it is, you twirl or you crawl, whatever you do, do it in your truth and the light and love of truth. And all the um all the game well, most of the gaming that I know personally, they can appreciate a bad like a pretty ass woman, but the side of a vagina in their face, it's it's not I just can't see it. That's listen, why I'm like, listen, hmm. we're not going to act like a lot of y'all feel like vaginas actually look like ham and roast beef and everything like that. <laughs> but you know what? If that's what you want to present to the world, more power to y'all. Hey. I just, I don't believe it, but it is what it is. So moving along very recently, we had a white she devil make her return. And she did so in a fashion that has caused a lot of controversy and a lot of think pieces and a lot of this bitch ain't shits. As Mm. per usual, now that I think about it, as per usual for her. She came out with a video, which I did not watch. I refused to patronize. And the video, there's stills from the video that have called people to think that she basically was trying to do her own version of formation (laughs) and the steal from the video that that caused a lot of i mean i was laughing my ass the memes and the jokes have been hilarious they have you know what i mean and she was like here's you know my formation and i looked at that picture in the segregation and i was like that looks like plantation not formation (laughs) but you know what I said, whatever. And then I had to look and I had to look again. I said, is that Todrick on the... I said, oh, girl. Oh, sis. But you know what? I said, I let him make it because I know he goes up for the whites. And I was just going to let it... I was just going to let it rock. However, then because she got dragged, which she gets dragged no matter what she does because she's trash. It just is what it is. But he decides, well, this is my friend. This is my good Judy. And y'all not going to be dragging her. And he basically came out. I be, I didn't do all of my Googles, but I've seen this multiple times on multiple uh, articles where he was basically defending her and saying that being shady on top of that, that she is a natural dancer and they've been to the club and she be dancing and and. A lot of these girls out here are not natural dancers like her and they can't pull it off. And he was pleasantly surprised that she could pull it off. And and I was like, who is he talking about? Because he can't be talking about trailer shit. Oh, gosh. Because we've seen the lack of rhythm. We've seen the stick figure-esque. (laughs) <laughs> dance movements we have seen the lack of coordination so i'm confused and i'm thinking to myself now todrick sweetie just because you worked with her for an extra 30 hours to make sure she could do the choreography that does not mean she's a natural dancer right and i tweeted that i said todrick a dancer is saying that taylor swift 
is a natural dancer. And not only did he say that, but then he was being shady on top of that, saying, unlike some of these others. And I said, so you really want these problems? Like, you, you really, like, this is the hill you're going to die on. Here's here's the thing. He's not white, so he needs to keep it cute about what the fuck he be out here saying. Cause well, I you mean, you know, and I mean, and then you know, he got dragged for that because people are like, I mean, what do you expect from Todrick? You know, he's proponent of white meat and da 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 da. And I was like, right. well, I wasn't gonna bring all that up because you can you can date and like pink meat and still be you know pro yeah, black. That, Those don't go together. It doesn't mean right. just because you like white men that you can't be you know about black things however right this known liar this known professional victim as she's been called many times i just feel like we sometimes our black i'm uh, is he celebrity affair word i'm just gonna use it we can debate whether or not he's you know a real celebrity or not but sometimes our black celebrities they let us down they go up for the these white people and it's just like i wish y'all would learn how to pick your battles because this is definitely not a battle that you should be fighting this sure as hell is not a battle that you should be dying on or in i just feel like with the with the path of how taylor swift is like he's doing all this defending like she's really gonna I just can't see her jumping up to defend him well, about some exactly. Shit. If the shoe was on the other foot, she would let that black ass crash and burn. Right. So I now my thing is I thoroughly enjoy Taylor Swift's music. Oh, so everything else sis. outside of that pisses me off and it annoys me. And so I'm like, ugh. And this new song is absolutely the fuck terrible. And it looks was, terrible. It, it's the song is bad. The video is bad except for there's one part of the video that i really really like but other than that it's it's a terrible fucking song like the whole thing makes me sad because i i like todrick you know like his straight out of oz project not the re-release he could have kept that but the original straight out of oz project was amazing like the songs were amazing the visual album or the visual aspect of the album was amazing and then you do this and it's just like how am I supposed to continue supporting you? Because I've never seen Todd go up for anybody black like this. Like, I know yeah. he'll cover their songs. Like I know he'll cover Beyonce songs and all that kind of stuff. But I just don't see him going up for Beyonce or, you know, Tika Sumpner or anybody like that. Right. The way he is going. Up. I mean, literally laying across the train tracks and begging the train to run over him. I just for, don't get it. For what? For a white check. What you need? That, that, that's and she cool doesn't for. need it. She does not need you to defend her. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, like, her record sales are going to be fine. Her viewership of that trash-ass video are going to be fine. She does not need you to pull off your arms and donate to the cause. She doesn't need it. Well, but I, here I'm, you are. I'm not familiar with his music or eyes or anything. So I absolutely don't fuck with him. So... That's yeah. Wait, why don't you fuck with him? I don't fuck with him because um, I had a situation with him like a couple years back. Whenever he released the um, Beauty and the Beat video, the little um, video he put on YouTube about the shit, the um, whatever, the one little, of his many many Disney yeah. princess videos. Um, I think it's called Beauty and the Beat. Uh, I like kind of mentally blocked it out where he had um, Bill going through the hood. I think I've seen um, that or maybe yeah. a piece of it. I mean, I don't know. Cause it seems some of his stuff, no shade. Some of it, it seems like he's done multiple times, but that's fine. Mm-hmm. Anyway, continue. Yeah. So a couple years back, um, I had a white friend who um, called me like mad. It was like three in the morning and Anybody who knows me knows that I'm up like super early. So that wasn't even the problem. So he called and he was like, hey, do you know who Todrick Hall is? And I was like, no. And he was like, you don't know him from American Idol? I was like, I don't watch American Idol. And he was like, oh, he's a singer. I was like, yeah, I just don't know who Young Miss is. Like, I, I don't know. He him. was on American Idol? 
Right. So, <laughs> <laughs> and so um, he was like, yeah, well, he needs help with a video and he didn't know anything about black culture. So you were the first person I thought of. And I was like, okay. So um, me, him and Todrick um, was on a three-way phone call. And that was the first time I had ever even found out who he was. So he was like, yeah, you know, I don't know anything about black culture, black life. Like, I don't know anything about being ghetto. Who I'm said that? Like, Who said Todrick, that? Todrick. He, and then he was like, he was like, yeah, I'm basically a white man trapped in a black man's body. And I was like, oh, okay, girl, oh, that, that's how I find it. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I was just like running down like hood ass situations and like just basically things that happen, you know, certain things that are said and we was just like running down all this shit. And he was just like, oh my gosh, you are so funny. I, I just did not know that things like this really happened. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, girl. Like, it, 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 it's a life for some of us. Like, it, it is what it is. So he was like, yeah, oh my gosh. Like, I'm going to like put you in the credits. Like, you really helped me so much. I really appreciate this. I'm like, okay, yeah, that, that's cool. Thank you. So we ended up following each other on Twitter. And, you know, we interacted a little bit. So he drops the video, and it, it, it was good. Like, I'm not even going to be the hating bitch in the club. Like, I actually thoroughly enjoyed the video. I thought it was funny. And so I'm like, okay, this is this was up. So it rolls around to the end, and the credits roll. I'm like, okay, maybe the name Adrian will pop up somewhere. And no, it didn't. Like, there was no nothing. Like, I was like, oh, okay. Oh. So... <laughs> So I went to DM him and well, my first DM to him was like, hey, congratulations on, on the success of the video. You know, it was very funny. And then I was like, yo, and then my next DM was like, yo, um, I thought that, you know, you was at least go put a real nigga in the credits. Like, I'm like, I like I wasn't even asking for like for my picture to be up or anything like that. Like, it was just like a swift little like it was just be a man of your word. And he responded by unfollowing me. So I was like, oh. So, hold on. Press pause. Let me make sure that I understand what it is that you are saying right now. Mm-hmm. You're telling me that Todrick, a black boy from a small town in Texas, told mm-hmm. another black person, namely you, mm-hmm. that he is not a participant he does not understand he does not know about black culture yes you proceeded to explain and give him examples of said culture Mm -hmm. and he somehow found a way to be a culture vulture of his own people's culture (laughs) yes that that, yes what in the inception hell how does that even what this is this is he sat on my free minutes and said this yes he did and wow um, and so my my thing oh, is this is like, messy i love it <laughs> my thing is i would never knock anyone's success my whole thing about it is you know just be a man of your word like it could have like the whole thing is like you could have just been man your word and i would have been good but now i can't even fuck with you and i can't even support you because of the type of shoot you be on and yeah so it's it's really fuck him like from now well from then and for forever so but i mean (laughs) wow but but, you know i'm all about him getting his coin and i wish him much success because you know yeah and so you know what whatever has him you know prancing around in a belly shirt and heels you know for that check then by all means like wow get it how you live but i personally that's why i don't fuck with him and that's why i will never fuck with him because that was some snake shit and well it's clear I mean, and it's clear that he's not you know hip to you know how life works because in the hood that that'll get you fucked up and <laughs> so but you know all, all all in all you know he he puts in the work so i wish him much success that was just a fucked up situation so uh, well all that said is nice and dandy however this shit that you're doing behind taylor swift keep it we don't need it we don't honor it we don't like it leave us alone yeah i mm, 
Yeah, mm, it's a it's 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 a no for me for him, and it's it's really about to be a no with Taylor, and that breaks my heart because I really like her music like a whole lot. Ugh. The irony of you right now going up for Taylor's music and juxtaposed with Todrick. I know it's crazy. Allegedly not knowing about black culture like this this too much. We need to move on. Let's move on. <laughs> This too much. Taylor Swift <laughs> makes good music. She's just a see. Now you're person. telling lies. So we're gonna move along. <laughs> we're going to move along. So the main topic for this week's episode. This is actually going to be a what I think is maybe a companion episode to the last time you were here. Okay. So the last time you were here, we were talking about something about the many different ways. Uh, many different sexual positions or something like that that bottoms do and that's why they deserve more respect from tops yeah that was a buzzfeed article so now i found another buzzfeed article oh shit this buzzfeed article is about penis oh (laughs) so the title of the article is 15 penis facts urologists want you to know Okay. so we're going to this is going to be a little bit of a sexual health episode i think Ooh. so let's get into it yeah I'm, I'm i'm ready ready all right ready like spongebob i'm ready, okay. I'm ready. Okay. all right first <laughs> things first <laughs> it says if you're uncircumcised then you're going to have to put a little more effort into creating a heavy air quotes hygienic environment a lot of people don't actually clean underneath the foreskin but they really should be Men who are uncircumcised need to make sure to pull back the foreskin every day, wash it with soap and water, and then pull the skin back over the penis. I'm actually going to let you get your thoughts out first. I have some thoughts. I need to have a conversation with myself about how much of myself I'm going to reveal in this. Okay. So why don't you go first? First first things first. Um, I'll eat your brains. No, I'm sorry. (laughs) The fact that they just had to give a whole direction on how to tell somebody how to wash their goddamn dick is like, that's number one. Number two, what? Like, you got to direct somebody on how to clean their goddamn Okay. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, backlash about, like, uncut people. Like, I, I read it on Twitter a lot. And sometimes the jokes be funny. And then, but realistically speaking, um, I, me personally, I don't have a preference. I don't think it's a big deal because I know there are people who will absolutely like see someone who's uncut and run for the hills. Mm-hmm. I personally don't care. Um, if you if you keep it clean and it don't look like it's going to like growl at you, then I'm pretty set on wow. that. And it's, I don't, it, it shit, it'd be, niggas just be having all types of the whole cut and uncut thing gets on my nerves because it be niggas that be cut and penis looks like it got put in a meat grinder and that's why I don't understand the shade about that's 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 that, that is that's, true yeah and so and I mean people always throw the whole hygiene thing on uncut people and I'm just like so y'all ain't never seen a nigga who was cut who dick just smelled like 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 old lamb like it be it be dirty dick niggas everywhere like that's not and I think that that's what annoys me the most yeah. is I but agree, I'm, but I'm also one who don't have a preference. So, of course, my opinion would be different than, you know, others. So. All right. So here's the thing. I'm going to preference what I preface, what I say with an apology to my fr- close friends, because I'm about to reveal probably more about myself than you care to know. But it's important. And this is my motherfucking show. If y'all don't like it, y'all can skip ahead. I love y'all anyway. Um, as an uncircumcised man, this it hit it hit home f- for a specific reason. Now, when I was younger, my my mom and my stepfather were going to get me circumcised when I was like in a third grade or something like that. And then for whatever reason, they decided not to. And they sat me down and we had this conversation and they were like, you know, you're going to have to be a little bit more diligent to make sure that it's clean, you know, pull it back. You know, they they literally said to me basically what was in this article. However, I was a child. Wow. 
That's actually kind of that, that's actually kind of interesting. You, right. I was a hmm. child at the time, and you know, I guess it, I mean it was a big deal to them. To me, I was just like, what? Like, I'm just trying to go outside and play Power Rangers. <laughs> I don't even know what y'all are talking about. However, that is something that stuck with me for my whole life because uh-huh. it's very important. Now, if you are a grown man who has lived with extra foreskin for 20 plus years, there's no excuse for you needing to be told this in an right. article right. or at all. But I do agree, you know, uncut dicks, we get a bad rap out here. And sometimes it's like people have a bad experience and they put that on everybody. But just like you said, I've had experiences with cut niggas and the dick look like the second stage of hamburger helper when they waiting for you to, to <laughs> add the water and the macaroni. So that's, yeah, that's, I don't. And then also, well, because I, I, I tend to, I'm not going to say frequent, but from my experience with, uh, West Indian and Haitian and African men, um, that, that, that tends to be a wave more times than not. So, and to be honest, I feel like as much as y'all claim that y'all out here fucking and doing all this other stuff, I just, you know, I, sometimes I'm just like, y'all just, it's an easy target. It's low hanging fruit. It's, it's easy to make jokes because I refuse to believe if y'all out here, either y'all lying about how much y'all fucking or y'all lying about never fucking uncut men. But you know what? That's your cross to bear. Have at it. Let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> <I mean. laughs> but let me say this in case anyone's out there, there's nothing wrong with your uncut dick as long as you are washing it daily maybe even more than once a day whatever whatever the case may be and definitely definitely wash it before you go to fuck someone now for that small sect of people who like dick cheese i'm not talking to y'all do what you do no 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 no. i'm dead serious because i've had i had a man approach me and was like yeah i'm all about that dick cheese and i was like you do know that that's like debris right like it's not i've 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 never seen it in person thank god i've only saw a picture of it and that was enough to he had a picture like that like that was his main profile picture and he was like that's what i'm into and and you don't need to wash it and i was like i'm actually just going to end this conversation because you just want your breath to smell like that okay you want that in your mind it is debris (laughs) do you understand what dick cheese is it is not. It's not a natural occurring substance. Not even. I mean, everybody knows what dick smells like. Like dick has a very recognizable smell. The smell of um, dick is fine. The smell of quote unquote cheesy with- dick. That's different. <laughs> I don't fuck with nacho dick. I don't do that. All right. I don't do queso dick. I don't do that. <laughs> I don't do that. I don't do that, and I don't do that to people. All right. Let's just be clear. If my dick is going anywhere near your orifices, it will be clean. It will smell like dick or and or soap. Oh, Lord. All right. Ugh. I'm just saying. And I feel like there's some other health benefits. Um, hopefully one day uh, Ronald and Martel on Here For It Pod will get into that because I'm not about to. What I am going to say is watch that shit. Yes, that's that's wash it. Um, and do your best not to let that. You know what? That's that's enough. Let's move. Wash on. it, wash it for you. Don't even wash for uh, wash yes, it. For wash you. it for you because I know you can smell it when it's cheesy. <laughs> I know you smell it when you sitting on your couch with your legs wide the fuck open like Trevante in that one interview. I know you mm. smell. It. I know mm. you smell it. I know you smell it. Wash it. Damn. Damn, he fine. But, uh, yes, and do wash not it. do yourself the disservice of getting in the shower and washing yourself and not washing your dick properly. Mm. Because some of y'all do that. Mm. All right. I have a I have a story. You know what? I don't want to tell that story because I don't want to relive that experience. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to move on. It says some STIs might show up with symptoms, but many of them do not. So protect yourself and get tested. Usher Raymond. It's important to remember that not all STIs are only spread through bodily fluids. Some, like herpes and HPV, Usher, can be passed through skin-to-skin contact. I don't know if this is exclusive to penis. 
I mean, yeah, I, I guess I it fits, it but I think this is just a general PSA. Keep in mind, everyone, that this is a BuzzFeed article, and I don't know what the editors be doing over there because sometimes these articles are just so just, off. They just be all over the place. Um, I feel like if you are going to have sex, you need to educate yourself on STIs and such. Like that, that is just crazy. That's a given. Do not, yeah, be, like, do it, not it, be out here. Ignorant. Like I don't understand how you could be out here having sex and then have no knowledge of the risks that run, like that run with it. Like what? People. I mean, mm. but you know, you know as well as I do. There's a lot of guys out here that are like sex before everything, right? And the rest of that shit, I'll just deal with it. I, you know, I honestly think that because of the time that we live in, you know, the and the medical technological advances, some mm. guys are like, I can do what I want because. Because they have medicine. Because they have medicine. There's a treatment. There's a yeah. cure. Whatever the case may be. Who does some nigga shit? Ooh. I don't. I don't subscribe to that. You guys should know about these things and get tested regularly, and know what the fuck is going on. So next up, it says, "Masturbating is good for you. So go for it, you wanker." Basically, it means getting off through masturbation or sex helps ensure that you don't lose the ability to maintain an erection. All the blood flows into the penis. You're actually cleaning up the blood cells inside. Oh, I actually didn't know that. I mean, hey, masturbation is good for you. Go for it. Jack, jack it, jack it off. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. I I'm, I I was about to say something, but about a little personal about me, but I'm not about to. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I'm gonna uh, get into that. Oh, okay. But mm-hmm. as 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 someone who I don't know, ma- masturbating just isn't my thing. It's it's not my thing, and that's. But that that that's very informative um, for all of you masturbators. Um, yeah, just 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 have at it. Right, so don't let nobody tell you that, you know, when you decide to go and have some personal quality time that a kitten dies or an angel loses their wings. You're actually maintaining your penile health when you do this. So get your life. Have fun. Do it. All right. Next, it says, but also remember, moderation is key, even when it comes to masturbation. If you're masturbating multiple times a day until your penis is raw and... (laughs) Sorry, sorry, sorry. I have like one question just on that. Wait, 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 wait. Let me finish. Until your penis is raw and you're getting cut around the (laughs) around your penis, (laughs) that'll open your penis up to sores. Okay, go ahead with what you're gonna say while I compose myself. Sorry, everyone, that caught me off guard. I haven't read through this in a while. Maybe because sometimes I live under a rock. The idea that somebody could raw rub their dick from masturbating just didn't never even seem like a possibility until you just said that. I, I, (laughs) what is it that you're doing to your penis that is causing cuts? In my mind, I would think that masturbating would just consist of being a one and done type thing. Just I mean, like, even if you do it multiple times a day, what are you what are you using to masturbate? Like, are you see? I'm 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 not a masturbator, so I'm I'm like the I'm, I'm just conf- I'm, I'm just like, confused that's... about this. It's like you're cutting your penis and you're causing it to be raw Ugh. from over master. But what are you using for lube? Rocks? Like, <laughs> I don't. How do you rock, like rock that until it's raw? Like how like how aggressive are you going at it? Like what? Can you imagine your dick being ginger and and painful? Not because you did something fun, like you know, not because you were fucking and you know the acrobatics got out of hand, or <laughs> not because you pissed somebody off and they decided to you know hit you in the in the balls with their Louis Vuitton bag or something. But your dick is in pain and screaming for help. Because of you. Because you are rubbing it out too hard <laughs> and too often. My thing is, like, 
dick is sensitive. Like, why are you being so rough? It is. It? It's. I don't. And if at, if you're getting to the point where your dick is starting to be raw, it it's okay to stop. <laughs> Like, the dude, you, like, the like, nut is not going anywhere. It will still be there tomorrow after you give your 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 poor penis a chance to heal. Do you like coat it in neosporin and then tuck it in your drawers and go about like how does that even? I don't like, like how right. like, do you like, put like gauze on it or something? I, this, wait, does 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 dick scab? Oh god, you you know what? <laughs> We're not going to get into that because I almost said something that was too much. Um, <laughs> my, my dick has never had a scab on it. So mine I, has never had a scab on it. But I, listen, I'm not here. I'm not here to dick shame. So <laughs> listen, you are not here to dick shame. But if, but if your if your dick out here looking like little foot, long foot, then yes, no, I will absolutely judge you. Let's not do that. That's not nice. Hey, I, be, be careful with your penis, you guys. Treat it with with care and love and respect. Don't be out here jacking it with the with the forearm strength of Arnold Schwarzenegger in his prime. Don't do that. Don't do that treat, to yourself. Just treat your dick like you want somebody to put their mouth on it. It just makes it so much easier. Oh, shit. I mean, I don't know, because some of y'all like to have y'all dicks bitten in. You know what? Let's move on. Oh, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole nother chapter. Let's move on. Next, it says, you can actually fracture the penis, but probably not in the way you think. There are fractures where you actually break the inner parts of the penis, Ooh. and then there are fractures that are less serious, where you sort of pop a vein and get a black and blue mark. Huh. Uh... That sounds. This sounds incredibly painful. It does. Like, and I'm just like, worst. you're fracturing something that don't even have bones. First of all, well, it you. Mm, mm. I mean, I know, I know how the penis works, but there are oh. actual <laughs> bones okay. in it. So the word fracture makes it that much worse for me <laughs> because it's just yeah, like. If, 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 if you've ever, if somebody has ever bent your dick when it was hard, then I could absolutely understand the fracture. That's what I'm that saying. Shit. But that, that's Ooh. exactly what I'm thinking. When they say Ooh. fracture, and I'm thinking, here's something that is not meant to bend. There's no joint. Yeah, that 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 literally might be, like, right under getting kicked in the balls. Like, that shit. I don't Ooh. know. They might be on the same level to me. Cause that shit is pain. Well, so well, well. When 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 the shit hits your balls, the pain rises up into into your stomach, and then you gotta like grab on the something. This is just... true. It is. It yeah. it is. Uh, like paralyzing. Yeah, you. That's Ooh. true. But I don't know. I've never had my dick bent, so that might oh, be just as it bad. Is that that shit hurts real bad. Like real, real, real. Cause, bad. Uh, listen, and I've seen like sometimes when I'm watching porn and and somebody's riding it and they slip out and then they dick bend, I'd be like, oh gee. But then I remember that it it it, it, it <laughs> feels worse than it looks. I, I, I well, promise you. You know, I remember because that in porn, half the time they're not all the way hard, and you know, they dicks be f- flexible. It's it's a whole lot of human weight going down on something. I can, that, you know, I can only imagine. But yeah, can you imagine? It, I mean, but the thought of waking up or not even waking up the thought of you getting it in you smashing the skins and it ends with you having a black and blue dick oh we 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 might have to sit and have a conversation because i don't mm -mm. ain't no conversation big (laughs) that's straight to the motherfucking er what are you even talking about ain't shit to talk about except whether or not I'm going to kill your ass now or later. <laughs> I, I Get me if, to the if ER. I put my dick out and I saw something that was black and blue, I immediately, well, oh, mm. one, one, I'm going to go to the doctor and then I'm going to, you know, contact the last person I had sex with. And then, because just... some, cause some, some, some shit might need to be, uh, be being said. But how the frat, oh, as, black and blue. As black said, and blue? The, black and Nick, blue. I, 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 I don't even recall. I don't even think I've ever seen something on somebody black turn black and blue. So um, I think on black people it turns like purple. Mm. But I've definitely in my online adventures in my life, I've definitely seen a picture of this, and that shit looks like like that person's penis looked dead. 
I I, I feel like it I absolutely I, I look like a, a zombie a sexual dick. rock because there's a lot that I don't know that I probably need to. Uh, I mean, as much as I probably shouldn't go exploring, I feel like to be in the know about a lot of things, I probably should uh, exercise Google a little more. Well, some things you can use your imagination. What a dick looks like when it's fractured, I think you can use your imagination. Well, yes, absolutely. I, yeah, definitely. Next mm. up, it says, and FYI. You also shouldn't try to get rid of an erection by hitting your penis on anything or with anything. Who the fuck? Don't do this. You will probably <laughs> fracture your penis. This is I, this is just something that works for me whenever I have an erection that I may not want at that present moment in time. I just stand up. I turn it up against my waistband, and then as soon as I start putting one foot in front of the other, then it starts going down. That is... Oh, yeah. I usually think about, like, dead puppies or something. Yeah, that that, that don't work for me. That, yeah. That absolutely mm-hmm. works for me. It, it, it don't work for me, because usually if my dick is hard, I'm thinking about something inappropriate, so... Well, same, but then I change my thoughts. But How? then... But then but then the idea of walking in public and seeing somebody uh, looking at me and my dick running down my leg, like I, that 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 kind of kills it a lot faster than the idea of dead puppies. Huh. So. Well, back to the point of this, I don't <laughs> know what is happening in the world where where you're hit. I'm what trying to understand the thought process like, what, that if. What would you hit? You're thinking, like, okay, my dick is hard and it won't stop being hard, so I'm going to hit it. You're like, so you, so you just go slap it and tell it to go down, like, 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 like it's a baby puppy jumping on your leg or something. I, I'm like, that, what? I just that doesn't make, that makes absolutely no sense. Be kind to your penis. I, that's the recurring theme. Be kind to your penis. It's sensitive. Like what? What? It's sensitive, and all it does is let you excrete waste. And give you sexual pleasure. Why would you hit it? Why would you beat it up? Why would you Floyd Mayweather your own dick? I don't get it. <laughs> and for you, um, for our, our pill popping brethren, if you, you read the instructions and do what they say, <laughs> if after four hours you still have an erection, go to the ER or to the doctor. Uh, I absolutely. Uh, agree with this hitting it with something is not going to get the desired effect mm-hmm. yeah it's it's don't don't abuse your dick like what is it's take take care of it this treat is too it. much y'all fracturing it y'all jacking too damn hard y'all treat hitting it, like, it treat it like direct deposit like i don't follow you just love on your penis just embrace it just don't hurt it. Just treat it as a blessing. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> In addition to ED, a fractured penis can also cause something called ooh, what is this word? Peroni's disease. If you don't get treatment for your broken penis, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. This is not a laughing matter. But the the phrase "broken penis" immediately made me think of broken pussy. Right, it, it, it was impossible to not laugh at that. Sorry, it says if you don't get treatment for your broken penis, then there's a chance it won't heal correctly and scar tissue. Oh, I guess oh. it can scab. Scar oh. tissue, aka Peroni's plaques, will form along the side that was injured. This scar tissue can act like a tether by pulling the injured side of the penis into a curve when it becomes erect, which can make it more difficult or painful to have sex or even cause ED. I am absolutely going to Google this because I am extremely intrigued now. This is a lot. <laughs> I'm really going to I'm absolutely going to look up this because I'm, I'm I'm curious as to what this looks like. I don't I don't want to know what this looks like. So, if you have somehow fractured your penis, seek help. It's not going, it may, there's a possibility that it may not heal correctly. It may not do what it's supposed to do. Seek help. Give your penis the love and cherish it the way that it desire it, it deserves to be cherished. Because Just then try. you could be out here, like, can you, scar tissue on your penis? Just try a little tenderness on your penis. That's it. Not even a little. This is too much. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm really going to look this up. Imagine 
imagine fracturing your penis, it not healing correctly, and now you have erectile dysfunction. Oh, that's Ooh. like three strikes and you're out. Like mm. shit. Mm. Damn. Take care of yourselves, y'all. Take care of your penis. It is here, and it just wants to be loved. Take care of your penis and drink water. I mean, well, that gives, that's a given. Mm. ED can happen for lots of reasons, including poor heart health and diabetes. So mm-hmm. if you're having problems with getting hard, you might want to see a doctor since there's a chance your ED is a sign of a broader problem throughout your body. Mm-hmm. Diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and just about any other heart issue may impact sexual function. After all, the penis relies on a properly functioning cardiovascular system to pump blood to the veins slash arteries and tissue in the penis. In other words, take that ass to the doctor and get right. checkups if you can. Hopefully, you know. The healthier you are, the better your penis works. And the better the sex will be. Well, that's, I mean, that's... well. well. As That's far as, as <laughs> health is, is concerned, because a healthy penis does not mean does not automatically grant you like a stroke or anything. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want right. you know, let's not let's not Listen, some 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 people love to show up for the race but don't know how to jump the hurdles. Okay. So Okay. Well that's enough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's absolutely enough. So again, Take care of your penis. Take care of your heart. They are linked. They are intertwined. And your dick is not going to work if your heart is phoning it in. If your heart is, is, you know, cashing in its PTO, you know, there's a possibility that your dick is going to be unemployed. So your, your, your heart and your dick needs to be in sync. They need to be in sync. Absolutely. No popcorn hair. No bye bye bye. I, I have to applaud you for that. That, that, that was good. That was good. But one of the okay. biggest reasons for ED is simply stressing too damn much. Whatever it is that's stressing you the fuck out, there's also a chance it's causing ED. So definitely look into getting some help from a pro, like a therapist. Um, That is actually very, very, very true. I agree. I, yeah, I, I know somebody who personally went through that. And it was very interesting to see. I was like, "Oh, that's that's sad." But yeah, it's it, that's a very very real thing. Keeping it a buck, I had a stint where I went through this. I was so stressed out at work that my dick was like, "Look, bro, I don't know what it is that you got going on, but I'm on vacation until you figure that shit out." All right, I'm on strike. Oh yeah, that that is definitely a real thing. I mean, it was it was very short lived because I got myself out of that stressful situation ASAP. But oh, you oh, you must have uh, took somebody to Pound Town to. No, it was it was work stress. And oh, I, I mean, it yeah. was affecting me in a lot of different ways, but I definitely remember like so my dick is broke, <laughs> broken dick broken penis awesome like you know it was like getting half hard like i was auditioning for men.com or something and i just couldn't deal but i mean like i said i had a lot of things going on like my my entire body was in shambles that's how stressed i was Mm. jesus and so i'm here i can and granted i'm not that i mean i'm old but i'm not that old and you ain't old in gay terms, I am. Oh, well, yeah. You know, yeah, cause, yeah, because one, because because once you turn thirty, they they love to treat you like you're sixty, right? So. But they still want to fuck you, and they want you to take care of them. But anyway, that's a whole different <laughs> show. <laughs> I swear, I have a conversation like that every day, where one of my older friends complained about a young nigga like holding her hand out, like help me, please. They do. So. They'd be like. So, you know, my cell phone bill is due. And I'm like, well, you better get with T-Mobile and ask her what, what it is that you can do. Ask her if you if they have a payment plan for you. Jesus. <laughs> um, 
it's, it's uh, they a, love it's to be like my cell phone thing. bill, my cell phone bill, my cell phone bill, and it's like there are cheaper options if you can't Listen, afford your cell phone bill. If, so if somebody ever wanted to cover a bill of mine, I don't need you to cover my phone bill. I don't even need you to cover my rent. I need you to cover this grocery bill. Hello. If you want to cover a, if you want to cover a bill, co- cover that one. Get like, these groceries. Get this car note. I mean, if you feeling generous. Listen, if that if if you want to talk, sh- being being a vegan costs too much. Shit. I mean, I'm not gonna turn down if you be like, "Hey, boo, I got your cell phone bill this month." I'm not gonna turn it down. Absolutely right. not. However, I will shoot for the stars and be like, "Well, I mean, if you got the cell phone bill, I got some other bills that." Because you know. I I can absolutely promise you that my grocery bill is about twice as much as my phone bill. And yikes. Yeah. Yikes.com. Okay. So it's funny that I made that joke about porn because that's the next point. It says Ooh. porn and other media have completely distorted what the average. Oh, wait, I didn't read this all the way through. <laughs> 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 okay. Sorry. Porn and other media have completely distorted what the average penis actually looks like. It's not uncommon for people to be self-conscious about their penis size, but FYI, the average erect penis size is only 5.17 inches long with a girth, in parentheses, circumference, of 4.59 inches. Guys who rely on porn to judge if their penises are big or not are going to be disappointed 99% of the time because those guys are the 1% that have those giant penises. Most porn actors are also on set for hours each day, and no one can naturally hold an erection for that long. A lot of these guys use enhancement pills like Viagra or Cialis, as well as penis pumps. Um, so here's the thing. And the thing is here. There is truth in this, and there are falsehoods in this. Um, because... A lot of porn that is consumed is white porn, and a lot of white porn stars have smaller penises. So I, I just thought everyone knew that like five and a quarter ish was the average size penis. So right. I I think the average for yeah I think the average for America is five and a half, maybe and six. I. Oh. Yeah, I'm absolutely not gonna. <laughs> um, so for the size queens, no shade, but do your do your research, do your googles. Uh, not everyone is out here hauling, you know, jackhammers between their legs and shit. It's just nah, that's I, not the average. And for I, you above average men, y'all need to link up with the ones that like that shit. Don't come to me. Don't come to is, me asking me. If I want a motherfucking rocket in between my cheeks, I don't. That's not my ministry. And know? that's and I I feel like that's very honest. I feel like you know people who request or have preferences about larger ones should. I I I don't think they're wrong when they're you know outright you know requesting it and saying if that's what they like. And then you know there are you know the others who prefer you know on the smaller end and. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's a conversation that could be had because not everybody wants to be out here just taking Mm -mm. big dicks. Just like there are some people who just detest the idea of, you know, having a small one. Yeah. So I I like to think of myself as Goldilocks. I like to be right in the middle. And see, I'm kind of with you. Um, Not too big, but not too small because my mouth is only so big. I can't unhinge my jaw. And, you know, my back door is only so accommodating. So give me I something like, in the middle. Give me average uh, to, you know, send me above average. I don't want those anacondas. My buns ain't got nothing for you, hun. So <laughs> I I I like a little visual balance. I, I, I like, you know Fair to look at mine and Fair. look at yours and for it to be in the same avenue of size. Like that's that's a turn on for me. Um, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to throw the number out there, but it's, yeah, like, I just like visual balance and that, that kind of what works for me. Now, I'm not going to argue with a smaller one at all. I would never argue with a smaller one. No. A bigger one, we might have to, you know, sit Indian style and, you know, d- discuss some things no. a little bit. But I mean, if you, again, if you paying bills, 
<laughs> then maybe and you got and when i say bills i mean automobiles cell phone okay listen to bills 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 and every bill that beyonce and team mentioned those are the that's bills that inch. you need to be paying that's that's and then i'm gonna tackle a few more like if if you are talking about some 10 11 12 mm. Mm. then i got 10 11 12 bills that you can pay before have you, you take ha- me side note have, have you ever seen like a 10 inch penis in person like it's it. This it, is not about me. So, <laughs> uh-huh. it, it just looks a little like odd to me. Like 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 really large. Penis. It's larger it's really than life. It is a larger than life like, feeling, and they just be out here swinging it. Like it's, it's just, funny because big dick niggas think that everybody wants a big dick nigga, and I'm I'm actually I'm going to be late. I'm not even getting in the line for that. More power to you if you have a big dick. I hope that you find the bottom yeah, or bottoms that, that. that will accommodate you and give you all of the pleasure that you want. It absolutely is not here. I'm sorry, um, but thanks for showing me. I guess yeah, that's that's about. It's now I will it. say this again: it's no, it's no shade, it's no shame, but for me smaller ones are not as uh they're just not as fun to put in my mouth i'm sorry i just have to be, <laughs> i just have to be honest you know it just it feels you know what i'm not going to i'm not going to say what i what i was about to say just like, for me it, i it i like, perf- it feels like a large piece of ice no we're not doing that <laughs> i'm just saying for me myself and i I like average, you know, I there's a there's a range that I prefer. Yeah. If I'm into that, you know, right now I'm I'm non-practicing so it doesn't matter what your dick look like cuz it ain't coming anywhere near me. Mm-hmm. That, so. that 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 absolutely makes one of us. Now, for me, it, um for for me, I I think number-wise the good 6 to 9 range is reasonable. Ooh, and 9 is pushing it. And nine, and literally nine is the limit. Like that is, <clears throat> that is just because, that's because I like skinny niggas, and sometimes they be carrying oh, the weight. No, so I don't have time for no. And and again, visual balance is you know important. Not 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 saying that. Yeah, I'm just saying that six to nine. I feel like with when you deal with most niggas, that's the range that you're probably going to fall into anyway. So true, true, true. true. Yeah. So that's just kind of where i like to you know sit indian style and you know deliver my ministry okay what is it with you with indian style anyway we're not gonna you know, spend time on that you, side you, note I'm, I saw, I'm actually sitting on the floor right now of course you are so <laughs> side note uh i saw another article for tips to make your dick look bigger so that'll be a future episode you guys come on angle guides indeed well from what i remember in the in the article it was it was given actual well I'll save it because I, mean, I have I, thoughts. I always thought that from the bottom up made it look bigger than what it was, but that was just from what I've seen. Right. All right. M- let's move on. Cause this is <laughs> yeah, absolutely on. too much. <laughs> Trying to make your penis longer is a losing battle. Oh, girl. How would you? I haven't found a single lengthening procedure that looks good and functions with their procedures. Oh, that makes me. Okay. One procedure involves taking fat from another. <laughs> People getting fat dick transfers. I'm like, what? I'm sorry, y'all. I I should have read through this before we started recording. <laughs> Clearly. People, people taking fat and putting it in their now. <laughs> it says one procedure involves taking fat from another part of the body and inserting it into the penis. Doing so will make the penis fatter but hard-ons end up being less hard. Right, because it's... So you want a doorstop of a dick instead of... A... Right. Okay. So you want okay. your dick to be out here looking like a stuffed croissant. Yeah, so you just... So you so you really want a Sprite hand, like, for real. Like, right. Real like, you transfer so. fat to your dick and now the shit look like a kolache. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Another procedure involves cutting the ligament that attaches the penis to the pelvic bone the same ligament that allows it to stand like a flagpole when erect 
So you end up taking away the quote unquote erection part of a hard on. That sounds, you know, this sounds very Ken Dollish to me. Oh, I don't want having, the penis having a is, not, dick is not that. It's important. not that important. I promise you, there is somebody oh. out here that probably is not that much into sex or is very sensitive, and they will love your small or average size dick the way it is. You do not yes, need to be it's, out here. It's a bunch of bad bottoms out here. So you oh. are in the money. You do not need to extend. Oh. Add. I'm sure what you bring to the table or lack thereof is more than enough for somebody because. Because this what? this wanna... this sounds like your dick gonna fall off to me. And right? I, like, why would you how this? is this going to make it bigger or longer? So, oh, well, so you want to make your dick bigger only for it to not work. Right. So you be that one in the porn that has to mash their dick into somebody because it's not all the way hard <laughs> or it can't stand up on its own. Don't be that person. It's not that critical, y'all. I promise you. I am I... going to take some time and I'm going to watch gay porn. That is that that's gonna be a near goal of mine. Gay porn, I, wow. I am so like I've seen like shit hit my timeline and you know I've I've hit play for about eight seconds, but I legit cannot get into gay porn. Like I don't And you're talking actually, about just, just just porn in general. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even gonna just cut it just to gay porn. I, I've never been a porn kind of sewer. Like it's never been my thing. So but to be in the know and to better understand, you know, how, you know, it works. I'm going to, you know, do a little bit of research. Right. Well, to be in the know, make sure it's studio porn, because that is what's going to get. That's what's going to fill in the gaps from this article, like amateur porn. Not so much, but studio porn where they're like, you know, magicians with the shit. And it's just high, it's, high, high quality camera porn. There you go. Yeah. 1080p porn. Not 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 the one where where in the corner of the camera the 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 fitted sheet that came off the bed and this music playing in the background. Not, right, not, and yeah. they don't want to turn the lights on because they're trying to hide their identity and shit. No, not that. <laughs> not that. Not the Tumblr stuff. I actually need to create a Tumblr because I that that's another thing I'm just not in the Tum- know about. Listen, I think I talked about this on uh, last week's episode of the outline I did with Kevin. Tumblr is a cesspool. But you will get your life if you follow the right. Anyway, we don't need to get into that. <laughs> the last yeah, I, point I, I, after it all, just 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 direct me to some um, just direct me to some to some safe spaces. Oh, well, ain't no ain't no safe spaces on there. <laughs> safe is the wrong word. <laughs> <laughs> so it says basically these procedures where you're trying to make your dick longer. It says how much longer does your penis get? You might be wondering. Only hmm. about. A half inch. So you imagine taking your back fat and importing it to your dick only to get half an inch in length. So you want to go from five to five and a half only for your dick to stop working? Right. Okay. (laughs) Okay. This is too much. Okay. Moving along. And trying to make your penis, quote unquote, stronger might only make it weaker. What does that mean? Okay. Dick Eagles. Oh, that sounds like for the long haul, that's not going to be good for you. Yeah. It says the body usually tries to maintain some level of homeostasis. So using anything to prolong the strength of an erection, like cock rings, other bands that wrap tightly around the penis base and drugs or supplements can be harmful to the long term health of the penis. Huh? Misuse. I. I, I, Hmm. Cock, cock rings just aren't a thing for me. I actually don't even like the way they look on a penis. So it makes they make me uncomfortable. Yeah, it just, they make it me just doesn't look. You know, because you you can look at that and see a visual representation that that blood ain't flowing. It's not yeah, circulating, it, it looks and that makes me super uncomfortable. It looks it it looks like. Mm. And then some of them when they have it on too long and dick start turning pink and getting See? angry and be looking Ooh. like a mad ass sim. They don't turn red. <laughs> it's too much. I've seen too much in my life, and I, I see. <laughs> I've seen very little, but I've seen enough to know what the fuck that. Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm off I've, topic. I've, I've only seen one in person, and even when I looked at it, I was just like, it it no. It looks like it looks like a too small something on. Mm-mm. I've you know I saw one and I was just like it. Look, 
it was I was thinking to myself, I was like, it looks like your dick has a fever. Like what is happening? <laughs> It's too much for me. Oh my god! No, no shade to the, to the guys that enjoy a cock ring. It's just you have to be everything in moderation. You have to be careful with all these things. Yeah, I I, I feel like, I mean that that would seem like common sense, like something that would help you. And you know that's right. well, I've never had one on, but I'm just going to assume that it's cutting off some circulation or adding something somewhere. Right. So of course the long term effects doesn't seem you know. Promising, right? It says misuse of these products can also cause priapism, a painful condition where the penis stays erect for four hours or more because oh. the blood is unable to leave the oh. penis. Oh my god! So imagine you do all this to keep your dick hard for an extra, you know, ten minutes, and now the blood can't flow, yeah, or nah. can't—I'm sorry—can't flow out of it, and that. That you know, it just sounds like a problem that I don't ever want God, to encounter. You. Again, Ooh. these things that they're talking about, please go Be- to the ER. Just, just better your diet and throw your cock ring away. Right. <laughs> that that just seems like the best alternative. Uh, right. And if lasting is an issue, just do do multiple rounds. Like get the first right. round out of the way, bust the nut. Usually, after you bust the first nut. You're able to stay harder longer, and then you can give them the strokes that they want and deserve. Right. You don't need to put a cock ring on, and then when you like 45, you ain't giving nobody no kind of strokes because your dick has checked out. Listen. <laughs> I can't even imagine. This is a little stressful. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm in my late 20s, and I can't even imagine having to deal with, you know, added accessories just so my dick could stay hard like that would that 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 would bug me personally but yeah. i'm not going to knock anybody you know who who you know needs it because you know to each his own it, I just... the my thing with that is again know your body and everything in moderation know the effects of the things that you're doing and that you're putting on that you're taking right you know and keep in mind the long-term effects everything you know sometimes people tend to have such a short term sight on mm-hmm. the things that they do but a majority of the things that we do in the short term affect us in the long term I'm telling you I'm I'm, I'm not going to be bottoming after 30 now I did not invite you to this show to be telling lies <laughs> my, 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 uh, my, my bottom uh, time clock is about to expire so I'm sure, Jan. Taking okay. testosterone can also backfire. Many people think that testosterone supplements can help with maintaining an erection. But the problem is that this short-term investment becomes a long-term loss. You can literally lose the ability to use it. I, huh. I guess I've never really thought about testosterone supplements. I thought that they were just for if you had a deficiency. I didn't know people were taking them to try to keep a dick hard. Yeah, I actually that's actually my first time ever hearing that. I would have never known. Wow. Um, be careful you like like I just said, know what you're putting in your body and know the long term effects and risks. Okay, we're almost done. We have two more. And all those penis pills that you might find at the gas girl at the gas station. Oh sis. That's some old truck driver shit. I don't I don't mm -hmm. Okay, all of those penis pills that you might find at the gas station or grocery store are probably bunk too. All those sexual enhancement supplements with the hilariously absurd names usually sold at gas stations and grocery stores can actually contain harmful ingredients. In addition to having some of the active ingredients in Viagra and Cialis, which are drugs that should only be taken by prescription, many of their ingredients aren't even listed on the label. And some may even include derivatives of the male enhancing chemicals that they claim to have, not the actual chemical. Hmm. I don't know if I've ever seen these in gas station. I certainly haven't seen any. They're they're the they're store. always sitting by the uh, cash. Like when you go to check out, they're always sitting on the side. Oh, you you offered that answer very quickly. Well, I mean, I, I've. I mean, they have them. It's it's right there in your face. Like, oh, I mean, I get you know, I try not to go to the gas station that much anyway. 
because the prices be jacked up. Um, I. <laughs> but yeah, no, they they always like whenever you go to a gas station and like they sell like single condoms in three packs. They're always like right beside it, and they and they do always have like funky cheesy ass names like Stay Up or like some like some dumb shit. But oh yeah, that's the fact that you've never seen it. I actually really surprises me because it's literally in your face. But then again, you yeah, I I, I don't expect you to like check your surroundings because you don't even fuck with people like that anyway. So well, I mean, it's not my surroundings. It's you know, I look. I'm the kind of person that when I have to go into the store, I go with a specific purpose. I'm not doing a lot of looking. I'm not doing a lot of, you know, I'm looking for what I need and that's it. So I've never, I didn't even know these existed in the, so I, mean, you, I know that these kinds yeah. of things exist. I just, it seems like it, it seems like it's illegal or something to sell it at a gas station. I don't know. I don't know. But, so you, so, so you've never bought condoms out of a gas station? Um, No. Oh shit! Oh well. I bought when I was in college. I bought condoms out of a convenience that. store, but they were on a whole. Di- they were like on their own aisle because it was college, so they needed. Oh well, 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 yeah. I I I usually buy mine in bulk, but I right. I usually buy mine in bulk, so that's why I've yeah. never I've never had to. Yeah, but, I believe you know me. I'm a I'm a planner. I like to be prepared. I don't want to be caught out here. Having to go to the grocery store, and then anyway, those are those are those are very those are very hilarious moments when you got to go to the store and you literally only buy condoms like those those, and then you then you got to try to like blend it in with like you got to buy a candy bar or some shit so it won't look as raunchy. But or do at least you that's... do you? Oh, I, I I do. Oh, okay. I feel like if I had to do that, I would sh- that look. I'm not trying to swipe my car for a bunch of shit. I'd, maybe I'll get a Gatorade. You know, for later. <laughs> but outside of that, I'd be like, you know what it is. Ring this shit up. <laughs> <And that's>... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, do we don't need to. We don't need to mince words. We don't need to. Anyway, okay. So let's finish this up. Finally, the way your penis works will gradually change as you get older. It's just a fact of life, along with other body changes that we go through. Certain functions of the penis change. As they get older, people might lose interest in having sex and even come quicker. Oh, and speaking of ejaculation, both the amount of semen and force with which it comes out also decrease. Huh. So we know Daniel from Insecure is not suffering from this. Good luck, Issa. God bless that man. Go get you an eye patch, Issa. They sell them at CVS. You should have went into the into the gas station to see if they sell them. I've actually laughed at that every single day since I've seen that episode. I just want to know if she properly washed her face before she got into the Uber pool. Because you know, that's, that's, that's a very good because I mean, I she, feel like she, she got into a lot to the face, a lot, and it was on her bra and on her arm and shit. I feel like she got into the to the Uber pool with semen smell, and <laughs> that is. More power to East because Issa, Issa went to the gas station, looked like Nick Fury, and I just I can't do it <laughs> anyway. Um, I think that I, shit burns, but I agree with it. Nah, listen, I've heard, but I don't know, I we're have no personal there. experience with that, and I hope to never have any. Yeah, um, I mean, but this is like you said, this is a fact of life, your body changes, things change. Um, I feel like though this is more geared towards people I guess that don't really take care of themselves because mm-hmm. all of the older gentlemen that I've come across they don't have no problems they be like yeah well, yeah they 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 you, they both still be rocking I don't you can get these strokes at 40 and 45 <laughs> the same way you could have got them when I was 20 and 25 and I just be like none for me but more power to you so that wraps up the penis facts that everyone should know this actually wasn't a terrible article because you know usually they go left field at buzzfeed i mean the 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 worst part was the hitting like absolutely the hitting the, yeah that was the whole, well the, that, that and the that, fractured that, part the, uh, yeah the part the about the fractured penis really took me down mm. a couple of notches mm. 
So usually we wrap up the show with the queer query, but because I have you and you let me know earlier that you had a story that you needed to get off your chest, we're actually going to wrap up this episode with Tales from the Jack side. Hey. So I'm going to actually let you get your your uh, story off first. I feel like yours is probably going to be funny and a mess, and mine is kind of yeah. Okay. So go ahead. Um, <clears throat> back when I was on Jack, um, I I I was kind of going through this little like hookup phase ish where I was like I think I was casually like fucking two people. Um, but one of them in particular, in this particular situation, um, we had, we had linked up on like some hookup shit and we had hooked up twice. And this was like right around the time I was about to go out of town. Like I was going out of town at the end of the week and he just, he would hit me up every single day wanting sex, like every single day. And I'm like, God damn, like you, like you, you ain't tired. (laughs) So... Um, so as I was gearing up to go out of town, like I was just like, I kept blowing him off. Cause I was just like, yeah, I'm not really in the mood. Like I'm, I'm ready to, you know, catch this good flight so I can go be a hoe for the weekend. Like I'm not like you still will be here when I get back. So, um, where, where I had fucked up at was he had hit me up and I had told him that I had already left. So, um, so yeah, so the day that I was supposed to fly out, like early that morning, I had went to work for like three hours. And where my job is, like I, I would walk down this, sh- like I, I would get off the train and then I would walk like 10 minutes maybe. And so I'm walking and I see this car pull up beside me and I'm like, okay. Like, all right, maybe may, maybe they're lost. So he rolls the window down, and it's old boy that I told that I was out of town. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and the thing, and, and what had me fucked up is like, I, wait, 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 wait. You mean to tell me he rolled up on you like big worm? He did. Like, <laughs> he, and he really like pulled, like he cut my walking path off. And then pulled up beside me, and I was just, and when he rolled the window down, I was like, I, I knew I was stuck. I was like, oh. <laughs> so he he like rolls the window down, and then he was like, hey, and I'm like, oh hey, and he was like, yeah, um, so I thought you was out of town. What's up with that? And I don't know what came over me, but the only response that I had was, I am out of town. <laughs> And so, <laughs> so he literally just looked at me, rolled up his window, and then drove the fuck off. <laughs> and so, <laughs> and for me, I was just like, damn, like, this nigga really just caught you in a whole lot. And it wasn't shit you could do to get out of this situation. <laughs> and the thing, and it did, like, getting caught up didn't even register in my mind because he lived on North Side. I work on South End. And... So in my mind, I'm like, ain't even no need for this nigga to even be on South End. Like, what the fuck are you even doing on the side? So I was just like, and, and in my mind, I'm like, okay, I'm going to work for three hours. Like, the probability of anybody seeing me is not that likely. But this nigga, out of all the mornings, the morning that I'm supposed to leave, he really rolled up on me. And I was like, oh, shit. So I thought that that was going to be the end of that. Like, because my like, if somebody lied in my face, like that lied in his, like they would have been cut off immediately. It would have been the end of that. So a little while later, I ended up running into him like in the club and I walked right past him because my thing is, in my mind, I would think that you didn't want to fuck with me like that after I just like told this whole lie in your face. So I walked right past him. And then as I was walking back, he grabbed my arm and I was like, yo, like what what's up? And he was like, oh, so you're not going to speak. And I was like, well, I don't have anything to say. And then um, he just went on this whole like, oh, you did me so wrong. If you didn't, you know, want to kick it with me like that, that's all you had to say, which is which is true. I I will absolutely, you know, own that. I should have been like, look, I'm just not trying to fuck with you right now. Like we can kick it when I get back, which. Yeah. So 
he was like, I was like, well, I mean, realistically speaking, you know, we only, you know, met up for sex. So in the same way that we met up, you could definitely go find somebody else. Like, it's not that hard. And so he went on this whole like, oh, you know, can I, I, I still want to, you know, you know, hook up and, you know, spend time with you. Can can we do that? And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm not really, you know, interested in that anymore. And so, yeah, that was so now every time he sees me, because, you know, we we tend to cross paths. And, and it's, it's weird how when you stop fucking with somebody, you see them more than you did when you were actually fucking with them. But, yeah, I, I see him often. And every time I see him, he really looks at me like I like tried to sm- like smear mustard on his top lip or something like he gives me the dirtiest looks. And I will wear that. That situation was 100 percent my fault. I should not have lied and that was a lesson learned but yeah that that was a very he he absolutely rolled up on me and scared the shit out of me like there was literally nothing i could do to get out of that situation and the only that the only that was the only thing that crossed my mind like was to tell this nigga that i was out of town while he was looking me dead in my face (laughs) (laughs) oh god that's funny that was a that, that 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 was a rough situation there that was funny. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just imagining somebody being like, I thought you was this. I thought you was out of town. I am out of town. And they look at you dead in your motherfucking face. I just, that was the I only can't. thing that I could say. That was because, I mean, I, there, no matter what I said from that point on, it was going to be some bullshit. That so, was some bullshit, too. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, I mean, that was the only way that I could get out of Because at that point... You you knew I wasn't out of town. Like I'm looking you dead in your face. So I was just like, well, I I'm, I, I am out of town. Oh, and... God. <laughs> that so, is hilarious to me. That so a, a a personal lesson that I learned from that was just to be more upfront and be more honest. Like if if you don't want to fuck with somebody, you know, just be like, hey, I'm not really feeling it, not in the mood, because you never know somebody could absolutely roll up on you one day right. and. So yeah, that, that that was a very interesting uh, situation that I had, which actually that that actually led to me not doing jacked hookups anymore. So, alrighty then. <clears throat> okay, so my uh, my story I like to call canceled. So when I was in college, I I want to say I met this guy on A for A, I think uh, Adam for Adam. We chatted or whatever the case may be. And he came to pick me up in his mama's like Oldsmobile or something. Because he was was a local to the area of the college that I went to. And I was, you know, a transplant. Mm -hmm. So he was fat fish, for lack of a better term. (sighs) And I've talked about this on the show before, before anybody wanted to wants to drag me you know how i feel about when people lie about their appearance i don't mind a bigger guy i'm a bigger guy my thing is you don't need to lie to me about it because i automatically think if you lie to me about how you fucking look and we're getting ready to meet then you'll lie to me about any and everything Right, you a scammer out here for like, real. Like, like you, you. Well, That's my automatic I, thought. I'm sorry. I actually can't even say anything because I'm gonna sound like a whole hypocrite. Like I didn't just tell a whole lie. Right. But um, yeah, just be honest about how you look. Like because I'm going to physically see you. Right. Like you can't change that shit in a matter of <laughs> of minutes, days, hours, or weeks. Like you, if, you know what I'm saying. You really cannot drop 43 pounds in two minutes. Like you cannot. It's, yeah. It's, just be honest. Anyway, so I wasn't feeling him off the bat from that alone, but, you know, I went along with it. So he wanted to, like, get freaky, but I was just sitting in the passenger seat like Phaedra on the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion. I was just, I was Phaedra to the bullshit. I'm like, I don't, (laughs) I'm not interested. Like, you know, you, all I could think of is like, you you sitting here, you a whole ass liar. So I don't want you to touch me. Right. So we talked a little bit or whatever and drove around and then he took me back to my dorm room and that was pretty much all the communication. So you would think just like your story, you would think that that was the end of it, but it wasn't. So I bullshit y'all not this. I had such a mean girls uh, experience. 
So for like two years after that in college, I would randomly chat with guys on like A for A or Yahoo Messenger because back then Yahoo Messenger was all the rage. And everything would be cool. And then all of a sudden and out of the blue, they would like go nuts on me and they start calling me all kinds of names and saying I wouldn't be this and I wouldn't be that and I would never have anybody. And I used to always be like, okay, my nigga, we was literally just talking about um, Chappelle's show. And now here you are telling me I ain't shit. I'm I'm confused. Where how did we get here? Right. And I had to block people because it was you know they started trying to be on some harassment shit, and I really did not have the time. I had enough shit that I was dealing with in college. I'm like I'm not about to be harassed by these virtual niggas. Well, by by you niggas. So two years later, so two whole years that happened every, I mean, it wasn't like it was every day or anything, but it it happened enough that I noticed a pattern. Let me put it like that. So two years later, somehow I reconnected with the original fat fish dude and we talked for a little bit and he ended up admitting that he had me quote unquote canceled. Um, so after our initial liaison, uh, liaison, Uh, After our initial meeting, he basically trashed my name in the community. He made up this story about how I did him wrong and told his friends to stalk my pages and harass me. Um, He ended up apologizing and he blamed himself for like being immature and not being able to handle rejection, which y'all go back to episode 21 that I did with Kevin Dwayne about rejection. That shit is real. You need to learn how to handle rejection. Right. So after the conversation, sure enough, I didn't have any other problems after we had that conversation. Never had that problem again. Now, that's not to, you know what? I don't even need to take it there. (laughs) Anyway, so that was how, that's the story of how Trulificent was canceled in college. To a degree. I mean, it was you go fat fish me and think you go cancel me, nigga. You don't want to think you cancel I mean, yourself. he like, didn't really cancel anything because co- college is. Yeah. So, I mean, nothing was really canceled. It was just canceled in amongst his friends and his little community. And I was just like, I mean, <laughs> sis, I guess. <guess."> <laughs> you know, you could have had a V8 instead of doing all this, but what do I know? You 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 really could have had two, and you probably wouldn't have been out here fat fishing. See, me. I was not going to take it there. We're not going to do that. Okay. <laughs> We're not going to do that. He was a chunky boy. He was feeling insecure. I I can one hundred percent relate to that as a chunky boy myself. But I'm not out here fat fishing. Like I let you know. Like look, you're gonna get all of this, and either you with it or you not. <laughs> right. And it's and that's and that's really and it's it. really like, that you, you simple. Just with it or you ain't. It's my, really that simple. Is you, if I show you what I physically look like, and if you with it, you with it. If you ain't, you ain't. Like it, it's really, I, I feel like people try to like go through hoops and all this shit to like get people. But there are people who are in your lane. There are people who are attracted to your lane. Like, and there might be people who just might grow to be attracted to you. Right. You just don't need to be out here like. There, I, I know plenty of niggas that like niggas with weight on them, like plenty. The thing about it is, you're not going to lie your way into making somebody who's not attracted to a bigger person be attracted to you. It's just right. not going to happen. You're not gonna, you're not gonna get. You know, if a nigga is expecting Janet Jackson, and then you know you give him Kim Burrell. He yeah, has every right like, not I, I, to want to fuck with you because you a straight up whole ass liar out here. Listen, so I, I, another I side story. Like that. I, I feel like you can't be mad at somebody for going off on you about some shit. Exactly. Like that you lie. Like that's... Because in any other situation, if somebody lied to you, you would be mad and you would be justified in being mad if somebody lied to you. So right. I don't get guys who think that is different if they lie about their weight or their size. Anyway... That wraps up this episode of Gay Side Stories, you guys. Adrian slash Huss, please remind the people where they can find you if they choose to do so. Okay, yeah, uh, definitely. Um, My Twitter handle is at underscore underscore Huss, H-U-S-S. My Instagram is, hold on, shit. Yeah, my Instagram is planet underscore Huss. 
Um, I I probably use Snapchat more than Instagram. But if you guys want to follow me on Snap, I honestly don't know it by heart. I'll have to go look at it. I'll so, put it in the show notes. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. Because I, I, I don't remember it. But yeah, those are pretty much all the places you can find me. Right. And if you, yeah, and if you guys tweet me or follow me or whatever, just, you know, I, I, I do interact with people. Um, and that's all I got. Cool. Well, thank you again for uh, being on the show again. Like I say, you're one of the fan favorites. Our episode where we were lifted and everything was indeed was a good episode it was funny it was thanks <laughs> thank you for having me i i really appreciate it no, i appreciate you coming through so guys remember go to gaysidestories.com that is the hub for more information you can Gay also email me at gaysidestories at gmail.com follow and interact on social media like the facebook page subscribe wherever you get your podcast if you have not already Take some time to leave a rating on iTunes or Apple Podcasts, whatever they want to call themselves these days. And also make sure that you are sharing the podcast with other people. Help me grow. Help me get these conversations and and this whatever this episode was <laughs> out to more people. <laughs> yes, you guys share and support. You know, share and support. You know, we gays need to support each other. I mean, I'm not gonna get into that. That's a whole nother conversation. But Woo. y'all know how a lot of y'all be on. You know, I, someone said this that gays tend to be hypercritical of each other, and I find that to be true. And it's like they find any reason not to support you, whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that that's what I deal with. I'm just saying that I, that's an observation that I've made. So let's let's break the mold. Let's get out of the habit. Share this podcast with other people. Help us grow. All of that good stuff. Thank you so much for listening. And remember the forgotten commandment: Thou shalt protect thy walls. Amen. And I'm done. Goodbye. <laughs>